everyone, it's Vicki and welcome to my channel and today I have a Stitch Fix. And pardon my appearance, I'm fresh out of the backyard. It is still uh, well into summer in Florida. It's I know some of you are starting to have more fall-like weather, but it is still full-on summer here in Florida. So still spending time, you know, working in the yard, swimming in the pool, uh, eating on the back porch in the humidity, <laughs> that sort of thing. So. Anyway, with that said, um, I would like to share that I did get offered a Stitch Fix, have a hard time saying that, but there are two good ones in a row now. Uh, I did get the Style Pass, which is $49 for a year, and like your regular uh, styling fee, it is refundable if you buy an item, you know, it can go toward that. So I might be getting a few more Stitch Fixes or fixes as a result of that. We'll see. I do, currently don't pay for my trunk club because I have a Nordstrom's card and they don't charge a styling fee for that. So this will be kind of like that. So um, I'm going to go through each of the items on my list. I already took them out of the box. I was trying to get the wrinkles out. Mine came in pretty wrinkled this time. I think the box wasn't as full. And um, anyway, so I'll go through this and you know the items and try them on and then we'll see what goes on the hanger or what goes in the bag. I hope you stick around for that part. All right so the first item up is some jewelry and that actually is one of the reasons I opened my box early is because I've seen all these other uh, YouTubers who pull out necklaces or whatever that are completely tangled up and so I didn't want to do that. I wanted to um, have a moment to tear it into it and get it, you know, taken care of. So this is the first item on the list. And it's a gold tone with some, um, oh, I don't know if they're freshwater pearl looking or mother of pearl. They look like freshwater pearls that are smashed flat, <laughs> you know, into a disc. And what does it say about this? It said it is by Canvas, the uh, Lucia Marquis station necklace in white for $34. Now, I'm not a big, um, um, what do you call it, costume or fashion jewelry person. Um, I usually wear gold or silver, but I do like this, and I think that there were a lot of things I could wear with this, but we shall see. that If, if I purchase this, it'll be the first piece of costume jewelry I've purchased in a style box ever. And uh, no, I did buy a pair of drop earrings one time. Um, and those two pieces of jewelry, I probably, those are probably the only two pieces of fashion costume jewelry I've purchased in years. So what's next? We have a floral blouse. Like I say, I've seen this because I folded it all up. I actually had, was going to put it on hangers to let it hang or steam it. And I thought, mm, I probably shouldn't be steaming these clothes. So it is a um, floral top with these tie sleeves. And the sleeves are more sheer than the floral top because it is lined, as you can see, and um, I think you can see the tag. It says Paper Moon, and what does it say about this? It says Paper Moon Andress Tie Sleeve Knit Top, black and 2X for $48. Now, this could go either way. This could go as... I could have, you know, said, oh, it's kind of matronly or not. And uh, I'm thinking not. I'll well, see when it gets on me. Whether it looks a bit matronly, you know, I always think of florals, especially big ones, as matronly. And the, and the fabric here, I'm sure it's some sort of polyester. Let me pull it up and look at it. But um, either way, I think it might be a good contender for a work shirt, shirt just to wear with black trousers, which I have plenty of. 97% uh, polyester, 3% spandex. The outside is that little bit rougher um, poly, the textured, almost like a netting. But anyway, I'm going to keep an open mind about it um, because I'm not a polyester snob. It's it's all right for work, you know, and doesn't wrinkle. I like that about it. The next top is by 41 Hawthorne, a brand I see a lot in style boxes. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out a way to, so you can see the tag. 
and it is the Darden pleated blouse in pink 2x for $48. Now, when I looked at this, I, I kind of like the style of it with the pleating up here and then, no, it's not pleating, I forget what this is called. These are pleats that are underneath it and the short sleeve and the flowy silkiness of it. It really does feel like silk, although I bet I'm going to find that as polyester. Um, I like very much about it, but I don't think I can get past the color. It says it's pink. It's a very muddy pink. It is 100% polyester. Now, it is nice and soft. It honestly does feel a lot like silk. It's a very nice poly, but I like the style. I think um, if it was in a different color, I might consider it. Uh, if it was in a different fabric and different color, I would probably totally buy it, but... It was, I, what did I say it was? $48. It is a little spendy for uh, such a simple top, too, I think. But next we have something by, another item by 41 Hawthorne. And this one is a dress. And it is a dress that has cutouts on the sleeve. And some kind of banding material there, cutouts on the sleeve. Again, feels like it's all polyester. So for all three items, I think have been pretty much polyester. What does this say? 95% polyester, 5% spandex, made in the Philippines. Um, it has a, a banding that's a, well, it's not just a fabric printed like that. It is like, like if you went and bought a spool of ribbon and sewed it on it, like that. Now this one is just part of the fabric, same fabric. And they've picked up the same design. Enough about that, right? 41 Hawthorne's Shea Lee Embroidered Knit Dress in Black 2X for $78. $78 seems to be a popular dress price. Now it does have um, an elastic waistband. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not really that fond of elastic waistbands. However, you can, you know, always put a belt over them. You see if it has pockets. It doesn't. I don't require pockets. I know people get excited and they're kind of interesting to have, but seriously, I don't really put anything in them. And if I put my hands in them, then I find myself swirling my skirt around, which usually leads to lifting it up higher than I really want to lift it up. So, And the last item is very fancy. It is a pair of, what do they call them? Okay. Let me, before I do that, they feel very well made, like the fabric, even if it is probably polyester, I do like it. It's a nice feeling, actually it feels like rayon, um, let's see if I can, it's one of those clear tags. Have you all started running into these clear tags yet, where you really can't read them? You almost have to put a piece of paper in the middle of them, or your finger, <laughs> to read them. It says the shell is 100% rayon, the exterior is 100% rayon. So it's 100% rayon. So I didn't get a complete polyester box, but they're pants that have a tie. They're elastic waist, but they have a tie. Um, I don't know if they have pockets either. No, I don't think so. But the bottoms of it, they, might, they must be cropped, but the bottoms of them are beautiful. They have this beautiful lace. This weird edging, I'm not sure I like that, but, but I do like the rest of the lacy part at the bottom. And these are Carl um, Lagerfeld Paris Harman Tie Waist Wide, and it starts to say leg, but cuts off black and 20W for $98. So these are very nice pants, I have to say. Oh yeah, here's the tag. These are very nice pants. Um, they look oversized. Maybe that's the style. But right now they look a little big to me. So I think I'll go try these on and see if any of them work. Okay, so I'm starting with the 41 Hawthorne Shea Lee Embroidered Knit Dress in black. The $78 dress. You can see how this works here. And the side and then it has the same right here. Um, I can tell you that before I put my own belt on with it, I didn't like it at all. 
but with the belt on, I feel a little bit better about it. I'll show you. It just looks unfinished. It's just a, you know, it's a sheet dress that they put elastic here, and I just, I'm funny about where the blouse and the skirt meet on a dress. Having a finished and purposeful look, it doesn't, so I just grabbed a belt of mine, put it on with it. Um, I like it a lot better with the belt, but I don't know, there's a, I have a conflict. <laughs> I like it, I think it's cute, but it is always going to bother me when I wear it that this is poly and part of that fabric. And, that, and it's a knockoff of this braided fabric here. It's always going to bother me and make me think they should have spent a little more money and put the, the ribbon type material on the sleeves. But I do think it's cute. I think it's probably very office appropriate. Um, I think it's flattering. You tell me if you think it's flattering. My husband says he doesn't like it but he's also the type to say, you already have a dress. <laughs> I don't have any dress like this though, but I do have a lot of dresses that are black or primarily black. So, what do you think? Okay, I am back with the Carl Lager, Lagerfield, Lager, how do you say his name? I know who he is. He's been around a long time. Uh, pants that are $98. And the um, Darden Pleated Blouse by 41 Hawthorne for $48. I think this blouse is cute. Super cute. However, I will never get past the color. There's no way. <laughs> Just, I hate the collar. Um, I'll take it out after you see the pants and show you the cut on the bottom of it. But these are the pants. These pants are so big on me, and the crotch of them is way the heck down here. To get the crotch even in a reasonable part, yeah, that's about where they need to be. How'd that look? <laughs> so the pants are definitely a no. They're very, again, I think they're very well made. I like the fabric and the detail, but um, they are least one size too big, probably two sizes too big. Now you're talking about a girl with um, ample derriere and ample thighs. And this stuff is huge on me. Now I recognize that that's supposed to probably be the style of these, but they're just too much. I'm just swimming in them. See, I <laughs> pulled all the way up here. So, all right, so let's, I don't know if you're gonna get a good look at the view with the, let me untie this so it doesn't create a bulk on the shirt. But uh, it's got a, a little bit of a scoop hem, maybe a little longer in the back, I'm not sure. And I think it's really a cute cut and a cute design. I can't get past the fabric. I can't get past the color. And uh, the fabric in a short sleeve like this, I would rather be a more natural fabric that could breathe. So I could wear it more casually and I just, you know, in an office with a cardigan. But anyway, so that leaves one more top. Oh, let me go get that. Be right back. And I have the last item, the 41, no, the Paper Moon Andrus Tie Sleeve Knit Top for $48. You can see the tie sleeve. Um, I think it's a nice work appropriate type of shirt or uh, maybe going out to dinner. It's, um, you know, it's a floral top. <laughs> That's really the only detail to it. It does have the scooped hemline, which I do like. I would obviously never wear it with these shorts, but it's hot <laughs> today, so I put my shorts back on. But um, I don't know, I think it would be a really good work top. And for living in Florida, I think it would be a four season work top because you can wear it in the summer. These are light. And in the summer, I'm usually cold at work because of the air conditioner. And in the winter, 
the few days of winter we have, we're cold, we're hot because they crank up the heat. So um, just put it with a cardigan then. So I think it's a very versatile shirt. Um, I would probably get a couple years wear out of it because by then maybe these big florals would be out. I think it's a little in that way on trendy side, not on trend, but trendy. Um, but what do you think? I'm considering it. It has colors in it that I don't normally wear, but because they're just flowers, like similar to the pink in the other shirt, that I wouldn't wear the solid pink, but it's kind of those colors here. So um, just kind of hidden amongst the field of black. I don't mind it so much. Okay, I'm back. So let's see what happens next. We start with the Paper Moon uh, tie sleeve top. Uh, for $48. My credit for my my um, styling pass was $49. So if I got this blouse, that would make up for it that right there. So I wouldn't even pay for this shirt. And it's not my absolute favorite style. And I'm not really settling. I think it's a smart choice. I think it's something I could wear to work. Um, have, like three pairs of black trousers. I think I could get a lot of use of it out at work. So I'm going to put on the hanger. Even though it's not something I say, oh, that's just so cute, I have to have it. It's just, I have less and less shirts that I feel, or blouses, whatever, that I feel are appropriate for work, like to wear with trousers. Um, because either, after they get laundered a few times, they just get, where well, they don't look as nice as sharp. So I think this would be a good choice for that. So I'm going to put this on the hanger. So first item on the hanger. Okay. Next item is the 41 Hawthorne cute pleated blouse. You know, I like this pleating for $48. Absolutely cannot stand the color. Can you see why? I mean, I just, I don't look good in these muddied, grayed out, browned out, whatever colors they are. They call it pink. I call it add some brown to dusty rose or some gray to dusty rose and this is the color you get. Uh, well, actually, probably not dusty. It'd probably have to be a brighter pink, wouldn't it? Because it's really a saturated color for sure. But anyway, whatever it is, I don't like it. I don't like the color. And if I'm going with a short sleeve like this, I would prefer it not be all poly. Uh, I could live with it being all poly. Look how small the bag is, the return bag. Uh-oh. I have a problem. No, these clothes are little because they're poly. They're just little. So it's going to be the first item in the bag. I think that um, if you like this color, it's, um, it's a cute blouse. But if that was in navy or black i think of navy if i was in a navy i think i'd really like it or even a white i think no it'd be too sheer in a white but anyway so on to the next is the dress the dress is the 41 hawthorne 78 dollar dress um i like the dress with the belt and i have to say that this dress was super super comfortable and I think that it would be a good work dress, a good you know career dress, casual career dress. Um, it doesn't look up close super fancy. It looks a little casual. Um, but in walking back and forth, I could tell that this neckline was going to bother me because I am short waisted. I don't have a really long neck. This was you know I can I can feel this part here. This. Um, this neckline here so and I don't know there are parts of this dress I really like but there are parts that I don't so since I don't love it I think it's very wearable to work though kind of like what I said with the first blouse but I think I'm going to send this one back I think the difference the, if they had made the fabric around the neck the same as on the sleeves I would have liked that continuity and it might not have felt it as much around my neck because it's you know would be the poly fabric but anyway it's going back the next item are the pants 
that are $98. As you can see, they were way too big for me. I don't know if I would ever be able to wear this style of pants. They're sort of the paper bag top kind of like because I don't tuck stuff in because it's not that flattering on me. And I don't think these type of pants look all that good when something is left out. And I certainly am not going to wear anything cropped. So I don't know if this style of pant would work for me, but even if it did, it wouldn't be these because these are way too big. They are very well made. If you like this type of pant and they look good on you and you, you have a Stitch Fix account, you might want to try and you know, request them. I would suggest you not request them in your size. But you might go down a size, at least one size. But anyway, that's just my own personal opinion. Um, Stitch Fix may say, nope, that's exactly how they're supposed to fit. And the last item is the costume jewelry. This, I kind of like it. And I think it would look pretty good with this. You know, I did not try it on that way. Silly me. What do you think? It looks very conservative, doesn't it? I don't know. What do you think? I'm kind of stuck on the necklace. I'm not sure. See, I also have pearls that I could wear with it. I think that would look just as good. <laughs> How much is this again? This is... the. It's by Canvas. It's the Lucia... Uh, Lucia... Lucia... Lu, I don't know. Lucia Marquis Station Necklace for $34. I don't buy a lot of um, costume jewelry, so I don't know if $34 is a lot of money for fashion jewelry. It seems nicer than the average piece I've seen though. So maybe I'll get the necklace. It does seem to go with the top. So I am putting the necklace on the hanger. Something different for me. I think I would wear it. I was thinking that I had another top or two that I might be able to wear it with as well. So let me give it a try. I'm not, um, who knows, maybe I'm breaking into the fashion. Ooh, that goes on there. Oh, that's better. That's more realistic as to how it would look. So maybe I'm breaking into the fashion jewelry trend. <laughs> I know like my stepsister wears those, she'll wear a relatively simple dress with a big chunky necklace and she looks really put together. Um, that doesn't work for me normally, but this is a smaller little piece. So anyway, so here's my two items I'm going to keep for my Stitch Fix. And um, be sure to come back within the next week or so because I have a wantable box right behind this one. Until then, thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.